What's up guys, I Dubai Help here, and in today's video, I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of everything that happened at Apple's iPhone 7 event, some of my thoughts and what I think about these new iPhones and Apple Watch as well, so let's go ahead and dive right in. First up, Apple CEO Tim Cook took on stage and gave us the normal App Store updates, Apple Music subscription updates, but it looks like Apple was looking to partner up with major brands such as Nintendo. Yes, Mario is coming to the App Store. You'll be able to download the Mario game directly onto your device really, really soon. Now, Pokemon Go was also one of those that was partnered up with Apple. On the second generation Apple Watch, you will now be able to look at all your Pokemons on your Apple Watch as you walk or run. Apple also introduced the second generation Apple Watch, Apple Watch Series 2. What's new with this Apple Watch? Well, better water resistance. The previous generation Apple Watch was water resistant to some extent, but this second generation is 50 meters water resistance, and this is coming directly from Apple. It's 50% faster as well. It's a dual core processor inside of this new device. We also have a dedicated GPS chip built in to the new Apple Watch and a second generation display, which is twice as bright. Apple is also now offering a ceramic white, which looks very, very nice, very elegant for the second generation Apple Watch, the Apple Watch Series 2. And again, this is going to be a dual core processor, so twice as fast, and it's going to be twice as bright on the display with water resistance up to 50 meters. Another major brand that Apple is collaborating with is Nike for its own custom bands and own custom Apple Watches directly from Nike in this collaboration with Apple. We can expect the Apple Watch to start at $369 for the second series, and Apple dropped the first series to $269. Now, pre-orders for the second generation Apple Watch are September 13th, and you can go ahead and pick one up in stores on September the 16th. Now, for the Nike collaboration Apple Watch, you're going to have to wait until later in October. Enough of all that, now let's talk about the star of the show. And this year around, Apple introduced the iPhone 7. Now, personally, I wasn't as excited for the iPhone 7 because the design wasn't going to change as much, but it wasn't until I saw the new design and the capabilities of the new iPhone 7 that I got really, really, really excited with this device. The two new colors are here, the shiny black, which Apple dubbed Jet Black, and then you have the standard black color, which Apple calls Black. And of course, you'll still have all these standard colors like the gold, the gray, or the silver, and then the rose gold as well. But I want to talk about the hardware features. The rumored home button is here, the flush home buttons with 3D touch capabilities. It can be easily customizable for messages, notifications, ringtones, different haptic feedbacks, and all that good stuff. And another one of the most anticipated features, water and dust resistance. Yes, it is here. This is coming directly from Apple. It is an IP67 protection on your device. So you no longer have to worry about dropping it into water or dropping it into dirt. Aside from that, Apple also upgraded, of course, the new camera sensor on the regular 4.7 inch iPhone 7 with optical image stabilization coming to this device for the first time. Additional features for this camera is a 1.8 aperture. It's gonna let more light into the lens. We also have a quad true tone LED flash. And not only did the rear facing camera get an update, but the front facing camera is now a seven megapixel FaceTime HD camera for better quality photos when you take those selfies. And the much rumor plus model dual camera sensor is here. The iPhone 7 Plus has two 12 megapixel cameras. One is wide angle, the other one is telephoto lens. And this is gonna help with the depth to field camera effect on your new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. This camera offers a 2X zoom using the cameras. And using software, you can go up to 10X zoom, which is gonna get very, very close to DSL quality with this new camera setup. I can't wait to get my hands on it. As you can see, this is gonna be also a feature that's going to be added to iOS 10 are uh, coming in later in October. Apple has said that they'll be releasing this feature. It's called Bokeh or Bokeh. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it gives you that effect, that blur effect in the background and the subject in the image is very, very sharp as you can see from these images. Another amazing feature coming out of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus is going to be the dual speaker. Apple is now offering stereo sound with the iPhone. No one really thought of this. No one really thought Apple will do this, but they're using the actual speaker that you use to listen when you make phone calls and the speaker in the bottom to get stereo sound on this new device. So sound is going to be twice as loud. And for those of you who are still wondering, yes, Apple got rid of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. 
Your headphones are now going to come with the lightning adapter, so you're not going to have to plug them through the lightning source. Inside of the box, you're going to get an extension or an adapter for your old headphones as well if you want to keep using those. But Apple is also offering a new set of wireless earbuds called AirPods. Now, these AirPods are an additional option and you can buy them separately for $159 coming later in October. Apple has put brand new technology into this earbuds with the new W1 chip. This is going to allow the device to connect directly to your iPhone and no pairing require. All you have to do is flip open the lid right there and they'll start pairing directly on to your device. You get up to five hours on a single charge from one earbud. You can charge the case to up to 24 hours of battery life reserve inside of the case. But then again, this is going to be an additional option for those of you who want it. And now let's talk about performance of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Inside of this bad boy, we have an Apple A10 chip, which is called the A10 Fusion chip. Now this is a quad-core processor. Yes, a quad-core processor inside of the iPhone. Now, the two main cores are gonna be for higher performance. They do give you a 40% increase in performance from the previous model, but the two other cores are gonna be for efficiency to manage battery on to your device. We also have a 50% increase in graphics with that new chip as well to quickly summarize everything 12 megapixel camera on the 4.7 inch retina display with wide color gamut optical image stabilization for both cameras front facing cameras a 12 megapixel facetime hd camera the 3d touch home button is here waterproof water resistant stereo speaker apple a10 fusion chip the latest and greatest on wireless technologies and lte and as for the iphone 7 plus we have everything previously mentioned plus the dual 12 megapixel wide angle and telephoto lens in the rear facing camera we also have the 5.5 retina display with true collagamic and again everything previously mentioned for the iphone 7 comes preloaded on the iphone 7 plus now in terms of storage capacity thank you apple 32 gigabytes entry level model 128 gigabytes and then 256 gigabytes same storage capacity for the iphone 7 plus pre-orders begin september the 9th and you can go ahead and pick one up on september the 16th now the first wave of countries are as follows as you can see here we have australia we have canada we have japan we have the us uk and so on ios 10 will be officially launched to the public on september the 13th and that's going to wrap it up guys this about brings it into this video let me know in the comments section down below are you getting the new iphone 7 what do you think about the apple airpods all the new technology built into this new devices is this something compelling you enough to buy one of the new iphones let me know in the comments down below i hope you guys enjoy the video and have a great day i will catch you guys on the next one Peace.